and welcome back to Industry Giant 2. So this is another game I'll be uh, playing a little bit of just to give you a taste of what this game is like. It is a pretty nice mixture of Transport Tycoon and um, crap, I can't think of the other game that it was close to. But it's a lot like uh, Transport Tycoon. And I haven't played this in a little while, so let me see if I can get this started. Oh, I think I did a campaign last time. Yeah, I'll do this. So we'll start with an easy campaign, although I think I the first time I played this and I tried this, I didn't win the easy campaign. So what we have to do is double our... Okay, uh, sorry about that, I forgot that whenever you have a game that switches resolution on you when you're frapsing, the frapsing cuts out. So we're now starting the game, and I remember now the other game that this is like is Capitalism 2, if you ever played that. So this game is a, I would say, a pretty exact mix of Transport Tycoon and Capitalism 2. So we have a world here, we have towns, and um, we just have to try to tackle the market here. I don't think there's any competitors, not in the easy campaign. So. Um, we have, let's see, the two million bucks down here in the corner. And I think I just click anywhere. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so we can build. Uh, there's tons of stuff you can do here. There's farms. Uh, where else? Oh, yeah, you can do these ones here. Cattle, cattle ranch, hen farm, and they produce what's down here. So eggs. So cattle, uh, hen farm produces eggs. There's cattle ranch, meat, and milk. And now you, you, they don't produce all of them. You have to pick what one you want to do, but you can switch them out as, as you want. Um, we also, there's storage things, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. And this is how we sell them. And this is some transportation stuff. So what we want to do is, I guess for this easy campaign, we can only do uh, farms. Because normally there's tons of stuff you can do, tons of factories. You can build cars, you can build refrigerators, you can build uh, forks and knives. So what we want to do is we want to, um, I guess, uh, let me start with the hen farm. So as you can see, I have it on the map here, and it's giving me a little number, and that is the productivity. So we want to find a good place for these hens. And actually, one of maybe be near a city. So that's a pretty big city. So let's see. Oh, well, there's a nine. So it's pretty good. And also, you notice when it gets pink, if I get near a city, that means that the city is uh, um, is hurting because of the hen farm there. I don't know if, what happens exactly in the game. I don't know if houses necessarily disappear, the population reduces, but I think maybe their demand for the product re reduces because they don't like it because you're polluting their environment. <laughs> So I think that's 9.8 looks, oh, is that 9.0? That's 9.0. 9.6 looks to be pretty good here. Oh, there's 9.8. 9, oh no, that's 9.0, never mind. 9.6. Okay, so I'll build our hen farm right here. There we go. So that costs what? 340,000, okay? So we got our hen farm, and now we have to move the products to a storage area. Let's see if I can build it in between these towns. I, maybe that won't work. They're too far away. Everything in this game is done by linking stuff together by proximity. So you notice how the hen farm is a regular color right now. now if I move the storage site closer to it, it'll go green. You see how it just went green? So that means that they're linked together. So that's what you kind of have to do in this game. You link stuff together like that. And when we build a grocer that's going to sell the product, we also have to make sure it's linked to the storage site. You can't link grocers and farms together. You ha always have to store stuff and then you put it into a, a store. So, um, I don't think I can do a midway point here and do a grocer here and a grocer up here. So, I guess I'll just put it... This is going to be the bigger market. So, I guess I'll just put it maybe over here somewhere. And storage sites do not hurt a town, as you can see. So, I'm probably going to be building tons of farms up here. So I want to build this thing in a good spot, so maybe I'll build it like here. Maybe right, actually I want to be closer to that town. Maybe about here. So I'll build a large storage site because I'm going to be building a whole bunch of farms up here. 
and then we want to finish this chain off by building a grocer. And as you can see, the grocer highlights the town in yellow, and that's the uh, customers it serves. And the numbers tell you um, the expectations of sales. Now, the reason that there's four is because the game is divided into seasons, and there's different demands per season. Uh, as you can see with food, the demand is pretty much stable, but with other products, uh, the demand changes. It can go up to a number and go actually go down to zero in some seasons. And I, on the top of my head, I remember there was one, uh, you can build gardening sheds, and in the winter time, the gardening sheds, there's no sales because people aren't gardening. So uh, that was just one example. So, okay, we also have to link this with our storage site. And as you can see, um, it kind of sucks. Uh, let's see, this is what is the best here? We kind of want our store. I guess I could maybe rebuild it. Um, I kind of, I would like to build the, the grocer. Like, there's six for eggs, seven for eggs. There's one right there. So that would have been a better spot. This one right here would be the highest demand. But I can't, uh, it's not attached. Let's see. Well, that's okay there. Only at two. One. Well, that's terrible. Two is the best I can get. Well, that's, that's pretty bad. Um, nothing what I can do about it here. I, uh, the storage site is over as far as, as far as it can. Another thing that we can do is we can do uh, transportation so I could move stuff. But if that's the case, then I should have um, perhaps put the storage site here and then move stuff like to there and then have a grocer here. And I'm down on some money now. I don't know if that's possible. I wonder if I get any money back if I sell this thing. Let's see. I can demolish it. Oh, it cost me money. Jeez. Um, okay, well, let's hopefully we have enough money. If not, I can just restart. No, not a problem. Um, so let's do a store, large storage site here. Maybe on this brown stuff. It's probably not as good for uh, farming. And then I'll build... Uh, oh, maybe I'll do a train, although trains are kind of expensive, but I guess I could reuse it. Um, cars only... Cars are kind of crappy because they only carry, like, one. So I probably want to do a train. So let's, maybe I'll do this. I'll do it like that, and the train will go on that brown, the rails. So I'll build that there, and then let's. I guess I'll put the grocer down because that's going. And the highest was oh back here I think was seven. There was it five. Oh, there's seven right there. There. Okay, seven. Seven eggs. Actually, we can get this thing producing eggs. Let's get this started first. So, click on the farm here. Uh, this shows how many. So, how much you're uh, paying your work, or not paying your workers? How much uh, um, of the farm you're using? So, the higher you have this, the more eggs you'll produce, the more expenses you'll have. And um, salary level. I don't really know what that does. Like, if you put this to zero, I'm not really sure what would happen. I don't know what this does. Salary value. So, we wanted to make eggs. So, we click on that. And then I think I have to tell it where it's going. There's eggs. Maybe I don't have to tell it where it's going. It should be going here. Yeah, I think it'll go there automatically. So with this stuff in here, this is a click in the warehouse. So you can set the how much you can store, how much you want to store. So there, we already got one egg. So there it is, the egg. There's the eggs, and then little boxes show how many I have. So that's working. So that's good. We'll leave that alone. So now we want to build uh, transportation. So let's do a train. Let's do maybe just two platforms. Don't want to do a road. Well, how much this is this going to be? 50 grand? I guess that's all right. So we'll do this. Okay, how much was that? 50,000. Okay, we want our track. Okay, we'll do this. It's going to have to be back behind you somewhere. Do something like... I think this is something like that will be okay. Okay, and then we need another warehouse. And I think a small will be fine. 
So we want to link up the grocer. So you see the grocer screen. So that's good right there. Maybe I'll build it back here a bit. There. Okay. And then we have to build another train station. And how do I think it's it? How do I switch this? Oh dear. I need to switch this around. What was it? Shift? No. Alt? Nope. I need to switch this. Oh, I don't know. I need to switch it this way. I don't remember how. Okay, I'll be right back when I figure that out. Okay, I'm back. I figured it out. It is spacebar. I had to look at the tutorial to find out. So I'm going to build this out a bit. Because that'll just give us more room if uh, we want to expand this later. So that's going to work right there. So it's green, so that means it's attached. And we can finish this rail off. I wonder if I can delete this little bit here. Oh, maybe this one. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I always caught you. Why can't you sell the rails? Jeez. There we go, they're connected. Now, I don't remember if the trains will reverse or not. I guess this is sort of reversed. So maybe they will. I don't know, we'll find out. I know the hard way, it's the best way. <laughs> okay, so we got that done. So now we need to move our eggs over here so they can go into this warehouse. So this warehouse can give it to the grocer and sell it. So we have to build a train. I think I just click on this. And what do I want? So this, what difference is here? 120, how much? I got, uh, about, got about a million bucks left here. Now I notice that both of these carry four, so maybe I'll just take the slower one, save a bit of money, save like 40 grand. So, so yeah, we want this guy. I don't remember how I do that. Does that work? Well, I guess I must have. Okay, so we got our train. Now we decide what is going to be loading on it. So we want eggs. Where the heck is eggs? Hen. Oh, there we go. There we go. So we want all eggs. And then, so it's going to go, so here's um, Danville Central. That's this one, Danville Central. I guess I could rename these. And we want it to go to Danville North. So I think if just click on this. There we go. Okay. And it's going to pick up nothing. And then it's going to return. So that should work. So let's just, I think I just hit this button here. Okay. Perfect. There's our train. So it's picking up eggs. So it picks up eggs kind of slowly like that. And reduces the stock. Look at all the stock we got. That's okay. We'll be using that. So um, that train's going to go down there and drop that off. But at the same time, let's get this town going. So let's start with a grocer. Uh, where is it? Yeah, grocer. So let's see how much we can get here. What's the maximum number of eggs we can sell? So there's one, there's two, one. Oh, this is pretty crappy. This is a pretty crappy town. I don't think it's worth building a train at right now. So I wonder, uh, what this town, this is a pretty big town. Four, five, six, seven, seven, is that the highest I can get? Oh, there was eight. Oh, I'll have to be... What if it costs more to bulldoze some houses? There's eight, but I'll be bulldozing some houses. Well, we'll find out. Oh. Well, it cost me 140 grand. Is that what it's supposed to cost? Well, I guess like 30,000 30, I bumped, up, bumped out some houses. Oh, well. 